Building Science for Building Enclosures is a textbook intended for the building professions. That is, code officials, architects, engineers, designers, builders, and even material science engineers and manufacturers of building products. The textbook begins with a background of what buildings are intended to do and what building enclosures are intended to do, as well as a brief history of the development of both over time. It then moves into the physics that are required to understand building performance. These include heat movement, air movement, and moisture movement, as well as psychrometrics, the study of air and its moisture content. The last half of the book deals with applications of these physics towards typical building problems, such as how to deal with rainwater, how to use air barriers and why one would want to, how to control vapor diffusion and the potential for condensation, as well as the potential for drying. As the book is laid out in a textbook format, many of the chapters end with a series of worked examples to show how the actual information can be applied to real life building problems. For example, calculating condensation rates, calculating energy flow through building systems, calculating dew points. The book was also intended to be a professional reference for engineers and architects who would be able to grab it off their bookshelf at certain times and go directly to a chapter that solves their particular problem or explains the issue that they have a concern with. It's becoming increasingly apparent that green design is the future of building design. And it has also become clear that it's difficult, if not impossible, to practice good green design without understanding the building physics that stand behind the performance of buildings. This textbook aims to provide those physics so that green designers can actually reliably deliver high performance buildings.